If the home you live in was built more than 60 years ago, there's a chance the deed to that home contains racial covenants. Those are rules that say a person who is not white is not allowed to own or live in that home. Those covenants are not enforceable, and the Fair Housing Act made housing discrimination completely illegal in 1968. However, many Idahoans with homes older than that may be surprised to see it could be in their deed. A proposed bill by a Boise senator is hoping to eliminate any question when it comes to the language. Tristan Lewis joins us now, and the question for you is, Tristan, what will this legislation do? Yeah, Brian, Senator Melissa Winthrow brought this to lawmakers' attention yesterday and says many were shocked themselves. These CC and R's were pretty commonly attached to homeowners' deeds and enforced by homeowners' associations. Winthrow is hoping this bill will inform people this is now outlawed and bring to light and inform about the past. Words do matter, and that cuts deep and that cuts right to the heart of your humanity. Many may be surprised the words only people of the white race may own or live in a home still exists in many Idaho home deeds. It certainly surprised Senator Melissa Wintrow of Boise when a constituent brought it to her attention when he found that language on his deed. His stomach turned and eyes got as big as dinner plates and, and thought, wow, what, what am I moving into and can I really live here? Although made illegal nationwide by the U.S. Fair Housing Act in 1968, questions of Idahoans wondering if they belong here because of a racial covenant aren't new. It's something the Intermountain Fair Housing Council says they get calls on about 10 or 15 times a year. The lack of awareness that they're not enforceable and people still coming to us thinking they can't buy a home or sell a home um, is, is really problematic. Wintrow believes thousands of deeds with that language still exist throughout the GEM state. College of Idaho professor McKay Cunningham and his group of student researchers are working with Wintrow to map out subdivisions around the state with these restrictive covenants still there. And I've got approximately 50 subdivisions in Ada County. I've been through subdivisions starting with the letter A all the way to subdivisions starting with the letter D. Uh, and already I've got, again, 50, 50 subdivisions that have these racial covenants. She is proposing legislation to allow a homeowner or tenant to visit their county clerk, use a simple process designed by Wintrow, and to get an attachment that says this section is illegal. Look at a county recorder. You can record, you know, so many things, um, but you can't unrecord it. So this is a way to at least correct the record and replace it so uh, that racially restrictive language is no longer there. While she hopes the bill will correct the long overdue wrong, she also wanted to raise awareness and educate others about this history. And this bill is expected to get a hearing next week in the Judiciary and Rules Committee. Cunningham and Zoe Ann Olson with the Intermountain Fair Housing Council and more are expected to testify. Brian. Yeah, Tristan, I've been in conversation a couple times this evening, finding out from other people around the Treasure Valley. He said he's gone up to 50 of these neighborhoods. They have seen it in theirs in the Collister neighborhood and some on the Mesa as well. So those are certainly out there, which is surprising. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much.